Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for May the 14th until the 20th. We are going to be looking at uh, something, some energies you might be experiencing at the moment and then possibly how that's going to play out in the next few months or so. Uh, as always, please take, what, please take what resonates and discard the rest. And also if uh, other meanings come up for you with the images of these cards, you know, please um, jot them down and you might like to look into them after the reading. Um, you're most welcome to pause this video and grab a pen and paper for that reason. And uh, yeah, so let's just call in the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Light Beings, Spirit Guides, and any other collectives or consciousnesses that are vibrating with that unconditional uh, love of the fifth you know, dimensional vibration frequency. Most welcome to join us. And we also acknowledge the presence of our own higher selves uh, throughout this reading. And uh, yeah, so Sagittarius, let's just grab two cards now to just see um, perhaps a current energy that you might be looking at or feeling into. We have the sun, which is lovely. And you also have the two of wands. So I'm going to gather from this that you're looking, you're feeling fairly confident and happy um, about a new uh, venture or project that you are looking into and it looks like it's something that's going to be that you're passionate about that you are that you're inspired about it could be something spiritual because as you know the ones are that suit of, of the spirit and um, purpose and career and that type of thing so let's also have a look now at um, what you might be or what you're possibly doing um, with regard to that as well uh, okay ace of cups yeah so it's look it's looking like you are on the emotional front you are taking care of yourself and you're getting yourself prepared for this uh, new venture so you might be doing you know some self-care and uh yeah and uh, really doing some um and also tapping into spirit Okay, so you may be even getting some feeling guided, like inspired by spirit as well. So in the short term, you're kind of looking to um, move into this vibration, which is the King of Pentacles. And that is certainly, you know, that um, fairly uh, secure uh, situation. And um, yeah, it may even also be about in terms of your health and well-being, you're looking to perhaps be more, shall we say, in the mast in masterful in that area. Like you're looking to improve your health and well-being, possibly, and all your finances as well, or your uh, practical situation, like where you are living. Okay, let's look at some skills and abilities that you're bringing to the table. We will get more information on this, uh, the nature of this as we move through. Let's have a look. So to the table you are bringing the ability to, um, you know, to really apply yourself. Okay. And it could also be that you're experiencing a little bit of, um, you could say maybe a little bit of over being over, feeling overburdened. But it's almost looking here like you know you're multitasking as well so it's it's and it's i mean you're not um you're not inexperienced when it comes to taking responsibility okay so that's something else that uh and perseverance and dedication and commitment so you are bringing you know those nice positive qualities to the table as well and here we have this is an opportunity so this is the empress which might be an opportunity for you to uh, step into helping mode, into nurturing mode, um, into, you know, care. It might even be nature connection. And also being able to receive assistance as well as offer it, or one or the other, depending on what resonates for you. Okay, and this may be an opportunity for you to, um, you know, apply these um, beautiful qualities of, of strength and resilience here to that situation. Um yeah that's interesting okay but you're looking yeah you're feeling um that you're wanting to kind of align with spirit actually let's get some more another a bit more info on your perspective 
So on your thoughts and feelings even about this. Okay, so you're expecting it to be like fairly busy, right? And you're also kind of thinking that it may be a bit of a challenge for you to, um, you know, to integrate this new um, path or this new activity that you are wanting to do. I mean, it could be something here that, that it is to do with your creativity, your spiritual connection, even your intuition, okay? And, uh, yeah, and so you're, yeah, you're expecting perhaps also that, you know, or you're feeling maybe there's some inner resistance, okay? Uh, let's see what's going on around you, just to get an idea of... Um, So around you, you have, okay, the moon. Uh, so this could be that maybe there's some circumstances or things around you that are um, encouraging you or making you feel like you are needing to look into your subconscious or to go a bit deeper uh, into perhaps if this is resistance as to why the resistance is there within you um yeah it's subconscious so it's kind of looking like that perhaps some of your what you're contemplating here is some sort of deep subconscious and a lot often a lot of our creativity our intuition and our you know spiritual all of those ability skills and interests often because of survival needs in you know 3d society we've often had to repress a lot of that stuff so that could be why and take what resonates okay i get that there's a you know there's a whole spectrum there some people don't repress any of that and some people repress a bit and you know um but if you feel like there's some deep stuff that you're wanting to get in touch with i guess that's confirmation of that okay let's look at also something uh like what yeah just to get an idea of what the cards are going to say in terms of what your long maybe your general aim or your long-term goal yeah this is the queen of swords and that i mean she looks a bit serious but um it is a the queen of swords is always a blend of um heart and mind and the queen of swords actually came up in a reading for water signs i think yesterday and it is a beautiful blend of heart and mind so it's about um, also of course creativity and logic okay and or you know that intuitive um in, intuition as well as you know practicality so it's balancing out those energies and yeah, in terms of spirituality as well it's like balancing the, the spiritual life with the um, material practical things in life too so it's also you know that heart mind uh, balance as well so um yeah and of course yeah, and it's integration, harmonious workings of those two, of all of those things. Let's just have a look and see. We're going to grab another card here, which is going to be showing, you know, if you apply your dedication and you're sort of stepping into that caring, nurturing, or maybe even be your own self-care mode, you know, you can expect that your, uh, this is Page of Cups, that your um, imagination and creativity is going to be, you know, fired up and that that's actually a really lovely um outcome okay because here you have the cup okay there's an inkling or an idea that it's something you've you know it's something perhaps that is subconscious that you're wanting to like it's creative intuitive or spiritual i always keep coming back to that because that's what the cup symbolize and here you are it's like okay now it's a reality you have you know you have a cup the cup okay and you're essentially like perhaps your imagination or your dreams are coming to life okay so it's about it might even be about you know moving into other realms it might be about doing something creative and here you have you know this is a really beautiful energy like if this is like um I'm, i don't think in these stories that this is mother and daughter i think it might be um auntie and you know niece or something but if you have, you know, like family or friends or you work with children, it could even be that doing that or taking advantage of an opportunity to work 
in a nurturing type of way. It's really going to help your own um, imagination, okay? Because as we know, you know, or it might even be just activating your own inner child, okay? And often a lot of our inner child um, material is, of course, held in the subconscious, symbolised by the moon here. So that's really lovely. Um, I think we're just going to now quickly clarify a couple of things. Let's just clarify the Ten of Wands here because um, there may be some other qualities that you're bringing to the table. And we'll also clarify the Empress as well. Let's clarify Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands can also symbolise, uh, of course, a new beginning. Right? And um, yeah, we have Ace of Cups, you know, a new beginning. And we have this here, you know, you're contemplating a new direction. But look at things. Let's or looking to integrate something new into your life. Ten of Wands is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's about a balanced. About, it's about giving and receiving. Okay, so um, what you're bringing to the table here is a is a an inner strength and an, an ability to really apply yourself and take responsibility. Okay, but you're also giving out a lot in this energy. Here, this is a call to just remember to balance that out. And it may well be that this card then is about, you know, receiving. So it could be to just, if that's clarifying things a little further, is that you are going to be coming, getting in touch with your inner feminine, your receptivity, your creativity, your um, divine connections, your um, spirituality as well. Let's look at the Two of Wands here too because I'm pretty interested to see what that is going to be about. And then I actually have for you a Lemurian Star Child Oracle card as well at the end. Okay, we're going to grab a card now. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's like, you know, this could be, maybe it is a new job. Okay. It could be a new job that is, but it, but it's going to activate your more of your inner uh, creativity. Okay, it's going to be possibly if that resonates. Okay, it's possibly going to be more uh, creative and inspirational and uplifting, and it's going to feel really good. Okay, and this is a card of obviously mastery, but this is practical as well as being you know abundant but also taking care of your health and well-being um and that has come up here in the oh you know what we have two kings of pentacles okay so that's interesting is that that's confirmation that um that you do indeed have what it takes to do whatever it is that you're looking to do especially that king energy is quite masterful um let's clarify the five of wands here just see you know what that you know, that conflict or this, you know, you might be experiencing a little bit of inner resistance to this, but the, yeah. Um, and, okay, here we go. Five of Wands is um, Ace of Cups, okay. So you know what that's saying, don't you? That's saying whatever this is, it's worth you persevering if that's inner resistance or people around you kind of, competing with you and perhaps attempting to make you feel like that you know it's a competition or whatever is to really just come back to this inspiration it's like why are you doing it and just to really get really clear tap into your spiritual self your um, creative self your soul like this is a beautiful pure divine unconditional love so this is about really loving yourself unconditionally despite what anything else is going on even if this is internal Resist, like resistance and internal um, uncertainty, okay, is to really come back to that uh, cup here because, look, we have two aces of cupses, okay? So, and this is just a beautiful, um, you know, that's the, the cup of, you know, of the soul almost. That's really gorgeous. That is actually really gorgeous. Um, I don't think we need to, and you know, you have the, the sun energy here too, which is definitely, you know, that beautiful source connection. And that's the current energy that you are feeling, 
that you are possibly feeling that you are definitely in receipt of perhaps you know um and uh yeah so that's looking good we might grab actually let's clarify the moon because that's always a bit of a mystery isn't it okay let's just clarify the moon and then we'll grab your oracle card to finish up but it's definitely looking Sagittarius like you have you know the skills and the abilities you certainly have the um persistence and the dedication uh but i think the the call here is to do something that's going to be nurturing for you that possibly where you are helping others but at the same time you are feeling uplifted so i'm not sure that could be absolutely anything and uh that's up to your discernment of course okay spirit we're just going to do one more shuffle and then we're going to clarify the the moon here wow the hierophant that is absolutely gorgeous clarification for this because what i'm thinking right now is that the hierophant is almost that intermediary between um you know the spirit and matter so it's this is you being um both a spiritual person as well as a grounded and practical person but it can also be that you are an intermediary between your conscious mind or everyday mind as well as your subconscious and that you have the um you know that it's up to you to have those inner conversations um and if this is your subconscious here and if this is your conscious mind just perhaps you know going giving you some a little bit of a hard time like there's a few doubts and things like i've experienced that myself a lot in my life right um then just to kind of put yourself just say well look i need to have a bit put my hierophant hat on and maybe maybe just to do some sit down and do some journaling because uh sagittarius you have it definitely within you to um come to a, an understanding of what your subconscious and what your soul is really looking for and to sort of integrate that into the conscious mind and to certainly perhaps bring this to a state of peace because you have this mastery uh card here which is really that uh, mastering the heart or the or the soul okay and the mind or or the ego okay so it's the that beautiful mastery card there so keep that in mind um this is this is great clarification here and i really love how you've got a lot of cups here so it's definitely um suggesting to you to um take note of your emotions and how you're feeling and also to really tap into that let's grab a Lemurian Star Child Oracle. And please, as always, you know, things that I've said have not resonated, just let them go, okay? Um, no dramas whatsoever, no problems with that. So we will grab a Lemurian. These cards are really gorgeous. And there's so many cards in the deck, I'm just going to shuffle one more time. You can see that beautiful gold gilding. This is the. Whoops, upside down. Um, okay. Right, we're just going to cut now and i'm just going to grab one off the top here we go dolphin baby okay oh, look at this inner child here inner child so it says here lemurian origin flow timeless adaptable free and take your time so if that resonates with you about your perhaps your inner child if you're really you know craving some time to just go with the flow i mean this is beautiful unconditional love here you know go with the flow just take some time um, just to be with your inner child as well time is adaptable free and take your time yeah so that adaptability i mean definitely that element of water is coming through there especially when it's dolphins okay and we may even have a dolphin it's not a dolphin in the cup but you know we have a lot of water there we have moon we have ace of cups we have page of cups uh, we have ace of cups so yeah um let's just quickly read from here uh, okay just at the back here okay we're going to read it just a little bit just 
bear with me here we go i have the page and now right okay so here it's saying um oh, sorry i'm just finding which bit to read uh, okay Okay, let's just read the affirmation here. Um, I allow myself to flow in divine timing now, to relax into peaceful play, knowing that my dreams are coming to life in the oceanic waters of my existence. And there's another little, um, little saying here as well. It says, um, I travel to the oceans of Lemuria to meet the baby dolphins. In these oceans, I am simply myself, guided by light and bliss, and by the many sparkles and orbs around. So that may, might be like a nice little um, meditation that you might like to do um, with baby dolphins. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And the other thing too is if, uh, you know, this idea of being from Lemuria resonates with you, um, then you can, you know, this is perhaps confirmation of that, that you've had a, you know, life in Lemuria or that you have a multi-dimensional self in Lemuria, right? Uh, yeah, um, it says here too that now that modern life has become ever so complex with rules, regulations and time frames, in your heart you miss simplicity and connection with nature. This is the reason that this card came on your path, though you might not even be aware of your innermost desires. In the postmodern world, people have become used to separation and meaninglessness. This is the opposite to your nature, Lemurian star child. Your nature of oneness, magic and divine meaning. So, isn't that interesting? Because, and that I believe is what you're uh, subconsciously, is that perhaps these experiences have been held in your subconscious of being in flow um, and perhaps even you know, experiencing a life in Lemuria. <coughs> and that we are all remembering a whole lot of stuff. Like there is so much water in this uh, reading. You know, like if that resonates with you, Sagittarius, about, you know, look at this here too. Oh, this Ace of Cups. So, um, yeah. And, you know, if Lemuria resonates, do a meditation on that. And, uh, yeah, or go to the beach for a walk if you can or something like that. It might help you with your... Um, you know, if you're having that inner resistance to just kind of really just take some time for yourself, just allow maybe maybe weekly, just have a little time frame there where you can just sort of be in your own flow. Okay, that may help too. So you have definitely what it takes here to do what you want to do. So um, yeah, have a lovely day and an awesome week and I will catch you again soon. Thank you Sagittarius. Bye for now.